Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your WrestleMania main event of the evening. Now, in the corner to my right, uh, she stands at five foot five, weighing in at 110 pounds. Kelly Kelly. All right, I don't know how much they weigh. I was just trying to uh, copy uh, what's his name, that announcer from TNA. Uh, oh, Jeremy Borash, yeah, the guy that Eric Bischoff has been bashing lately on Twitter. I don't know why. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's more like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your piss break of the evening. Sponsored by Kelly Kelly and Maria Menounos versus Eve Torres and the Divas champion, Beth Phoenix. Like, seriously, who's who's looking forward to this match? You know, you know all right, I'm, I'm sure, you, you know, there must be somebody out there looking forward to this match. Maybe three guys or three three people. I don't know. But, you know, um, so yeah, it's Kelly Kelly and Maria Menounos versus Eve and Beth Phoenix. And, uh, you know, I gave you guys my prediction for this match, who I think is going to win in the official prediction game video of The Rock versus John Cena. And I said Kelly Kelly and Maria would win. So why did I say that? Well, I'm going to go in more detail in this video, just like all the other matches. So, why I think she's going to win? Well, they're going to win. Well, it's 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 pretty it's pretty simple. It's actually just one reason and one reason only. And actually, never mind. But yeah, that reason is Maria Menounos is not a WWE superstar. What is she? She's a celebrity. She's somebody outside the WWE. And what happens when somebody is, you know, from the outside, you know, not a wrestler, is a celebrity on TV, whatever, and comes to have a match on TV? What happens? Specifically, specifically at WrestleMania, they win, uh, like 100% of the time. Uh, doesn't even need to be, you know, exactly a celebrity. I mean, it could be, it could be just another athlete, another, you know, yeah, another athlete from a, another sport. If you consider wrestling a sport, whatever, it's it's more, you know, whatever. So, you know, let's say it was Shaq versus Big Show this year. I'm pretty damn sure Shaq would win the match. Uh, just like Floyd beat the Big Show a couple years back, too. Just like that sumo wrestler beat the Big Show a couple, year, a couple years back, too. Just like Snooki won her tag team match last year at WrestleMania. It's always the non-wrestler that wins. In this case... The non-wrestler and the wrestlers team, whatever you know, it's gonna be Maria and Kelly Kelly both winning. Uh, who gets the pin? I don't know. Maybe Maria. I think maybe Kelly Kelly. Well, actually, I don't know because apparently she got injured. Uh, I'm not sure what her injury was, but uh, apparently though she, she she can still compete. She's she just you know like, I guess is hurting or whatever. But uh, she says she's still gonna appear and uh, compete. So. Probably maybe Kelly Kelly's going to do most of the work and Maria maybe get to pinfall. Or since it's a tag team match, that'd be a bit harder to do. So maybe Kelly Kelly could get a fluke win. A fluke small pin or roll up. Or Maria could get a fluke win or fluke roll up. Um, the thing is though, uh, it's kind of weird that they put... I mean, no, it's not that weird, but... They should have just had, you know, a one-on-one -on -one match for the Divas Championship. Or a three-way match for the Divas Champion or something like, something like that. You know, have Beth Phoenix defend their title uh, instead of just being involved in a tag team match like this. I guess, you know, every single year they want a you know, celebrity in WrestleMania. Uh, but I guess, you know, you, you could count, I guess, The Rock as one. You know, even though he was a wrestler in the past. Uh, he wasn't a wrestler for a good amount of time. You know, seven years he was, you know, away from wrestling. But I guess they wanted somebody else. Uh, that wasn't you know, associated with wrestling at all. And we actually saw Maria Menounos compete actually a couple years, uh, two years back maybe. On Raw, maybe 2010, 09, I don't know. Uh, I think she was teaming up with DX or something like that. Or maybe facing off against Vicky. I don't, I'm not, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't even remember how she looks like. <laughs> because like I downloaded this created character from uh, Community Creations. And I, I didn't even know if it was a good call or not because... I don't remember how she looks like. I don't pay attention to Diva's matches. I don't pay attention to 
really any of the Evas related stuff. They're just bore me, you know. Their, their storylines aren't as interesting as you know the Mel Superstar storylines. Uh, maybe if they worked harder with the storylines for the Vivas, then it'd be better. But uh, you know, the, you look back, you look at the past couple of years at WrestleMania, the Divas matches. The Divas haven't had any singles matches for the championship. The last time, you know, the Divas championship. Well, back then it was a women's championship. Was defended was back at WrestleMania 24, I think, or was it 24 or 23? Let me check. I think it's 23. Pretty sure it's 23. But I'll make sure here. Double check so I don't make any mistakes. Um, FBX, Yeah, it was 23. So that's back in 07. So it's been five years. Five years of stupid 25 women or whatever battle royal. Royale or royal or whatever. <laughs> Uh, tag team matches where sometimes the the other divas the the other divas aren't even tagged in. So what's the point of a tag team match? You know, it's so yeah, it's been five years. Can you guys imagine that if that was like, if that was the case for like the Intercontinental Championship, if the champ, the IC champ, for like five years would not defend his championship at WrestleMania, but instead would be involved in like matches like this like tag team matches and multi-man matches over the top rope matches stuff like that you know i guess this this kind of shows how much i guess they care about the divas division not much <laughs> uh and actually the last women's championship match on wrestlemania at wrestlemania was melina versus ashley and that match lasted five minutes so pretty short time they get they don't give uh, the divas much time actually this video I played this match I played you know was 10 minutes I doubt this match is gonna last 10 minutes probably gonna last five minutes like the other divas matches or maybe seven minutes tops if if it if it you know lasts 10 minutes I'll, I'll be really surprised really really surprised like seriously <laughs> and uh, I look back at some of the battle royals you know they had at WrestleMania one of them like not even a diva won the match Shantino won the match uh, back then, you know, he was playing Santino and Santina Marella, and he won that match, uh, which I was happy about, though. Actually, I was, uh, I thought that it was, it was a bit funny, you know, Santino winning the match and an actual male superstar winning a diva's match, you know, uh, dressed as a diva. So yeah, guys, like I said, you know, I can't see Beth Phoenix and Eve winning this match. What's the point of bringing Maria Menounos if she, they're gonna make her lose? I don't know, I just don't see it. Uh, just like Snooki won last year in the tag team match. You know, uh, Maria probably won't be able to pull off maneuvers like Snooki. I was actually impressed, though, with Snooki last year. Uh, some, of you say, some of you might say, well, wait a minute. So you watched that match? I watched the ending, you know. Uh, and I was impressed, you know. She uh, did, like, some handstands and then... Uh, uh, moonsault, I think, no, it wasn't even a moonsault, it was kind of <laughs> a splash or whatever, S small little splash, not even off the top rope, but, uh, I was impressed with the handstand and the backflip, so, uh, yeah, man, Maria and Kelly will win this match, I'm telling you guys, but hey, man, if, like, seriously, if B Be Be <laughs> Beth and Eve, sorry, I'm making some mistakes here because I've been doing some commentary right now for over an hour straight. Uh, all these commentaries for the prediction game for WrestleMania have been like straight, you know, like this one. Once I finish this one, I do this one right away. And I haven't slept in a while, so uh, I might make some, some mistakes. But anyways, man, this is the last video actually I saved. I made sure, you know, to save the best for last. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm being sarcastic here. I didn't save the best for last. More like worst for last. Well, actually, I wouldn't say that, you know, because some people might look forward to this match so more power to you actually you know if if somebody if somebody looks forward to every single match at WrestleMania then that's gonna be a freaking great pay-per-view for them you know just for for the simple fact that if he was if he's looking forward to every single match then even if you know one or two matches disappoint him the all six other matches are you know lived up to the hype for him so it's a freaking great pay-per-view for him <laughs> so uh, yeah that's about it guys man so that's the last match for the prediction game for WrestleMania. I'll be doing a review as always. And man, I hope you guys enjoy this video. 
I hope you enjoy WrestleMania. And uh, just, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up button. Thanks for the support. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll uh, see you later. See ya.